most important things in Rocket League is having good camera settings. It can make or break your improvement. It can either make you feel slow or it will make you feel like you're the best player in the world. The question is, how do you actually decide which one is the best for you? Now, maybe some of you would look at different pro players or freestylers and try theirs out. But that could actually cause a lot of confusion and even self-doubt. So today, I'll be taking on the task to freestyle in the best camera settings in Rocket League. I've compiled a list of pro players and freestylers whose settings I'll be trying out. And the players in that list are Evample, Squishy, Watch moments. The player to invent the shot himself in New York Season 6 World Champions! Monkey Moon. EDS is earning them these wins. Monkey Moon earning himself! Zen. Here's Zen. Zen. Up high! Takes it up. Zen! Across! Oh! And, well, obviously mine as well. Of course, make sure to subscribe. A lot of people forget despite actually enjoying the videos. Let's not waste any more time though. It's time to find out what the best camera settings in Rocket League are. Alright, honestly, I think we just get started immediately and change to Vample's camera settings. Now, Vample uses 107 FOV, which I don't normally use, 280 distance, 100 height, negative 3 angle, 0 30 stiffness, and 4 swivel speed. These are definitely different from what I use personally, but man, Vample's super good, so hey, if it works for him, it might work for me. We'll be testing out these camera settings with three mechanic challenges. One, a ceiling pinch. Two, a double flip reset pogo into a musty. And third, a quadruple reset. Now, I don't know about you, but those are pretty tough mechanics to do, especially with camera settings that I don't normally use. But we're trying to find out which one is the best after all, so we gotta put ourselves to a challenge. Alright, I'm gonna be honest with you, just off the bat, like, it does feel a little bit weird. But that's, okay, I'll be honest though, that probably is because I've used the same camera settings for like five years. Alright, let's see if we can do a ceiling pinch. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Not a great start. Mm, come on, third time's the charm, right? That's what people say? Uh, yeah, that is awful. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not getting any speed on it. Look at that, 55, that's probably the slowest ceiling pinch I've ever done. You know, I feel like the ceiling pinch will actually be quite hard. All right, new camera settings doesn't mean that I can't do a ceiling pinch. Look at this. Oh, okay. Uh, that's actually perfect. <laughs> and of course, you'll know me. I'm using the Dortmund decal. Because I'm actually recording this from Germany, so you know, I thought it'd be fitting. But the real question is, can it double reset Pogo Musty? One, two. Go. Yeah, and uh, oh my! <laughs> Where's the musty? It's gone, and he's left. No. You know, I think the opponent was embarrassed on my behalf. All right, boys, we gotta make Evample proud. Come on, Evample knows we're about to hit it. He knows. Nope, not today. <laughs> we'll make a difference here. Never mind. All right, fair enough. No more fails. They're not allowed. Not allowed in my in my city. Okay, come on, Pogo, and then a musty. Okay, that was a horrendous musty, but we we take it. All right, we take it. The question is if Evample would accept that. I don't know about it. I don't know, man. Now comes time for the special thing that Evample's known for: resets. But this time, quadruple reset. One. Two, three. Oh no, I fell off the ball. Now, obviously, the difference between Evample and I is that he would probably do these resets with stalls, whilst I only do no stall resets. Oh no, I saved it. Are you kidding me? Like this. One, two, three, four. No, where's the fourth? Where's the fourth? It's gone. It's disappeared. I touched it, right? Huh? What? I thought I touched it with all four wheels there. Guys, I think Evample might be disappointed. Okay, in all fairness though, I don't think we're doing too bad. Like, we're getting most of the challenges done. I still feel pretty decent in this. Like, it's actually not too bad. I'm liking this camera setting. All right, boys and girls, it's time to complete the last challenge. Just right off the bat. Why not? Just keep it simple. One, two, oh, this is so high. Three, four, no. Yeah, it just went a little too high, you know? For our second attempt of the game. One, 
two, three, four. I mean, there you go. <laughs> See, I have to make Evample proud, all right? We're friends. We, we know how it goes, all right? He does his little story sets. I do my little no story sets. I have to say, now that I've completed all the challenges, I think I'm gonna give Evample's camera settings a thumbs up. I actually think it's pretty good. I mean, no wonder. <laughs> the guy's insane, so of course he knows what he's doing. I don't know if I would exactly recommend this to like someone that's grinding ranked, but probably like mostly if you do freestyle kind of shots. Now, Evample's camera settings were pretty decent, but with that completed, we're on to the next player, which is Squishy Muffins. A player that's won a Rocket League LAN, a major, he's a phenomenal player, he's iconic. But one thing that's kind of confused me is his camera settings, because they're kind of weird. What immediately I noticed was a little bit weird is the height being at 90 and the angle being negative 5. I'm excited to see how it goes, I'm not expecting a lot from this though. Oh my god, even that flip on kickoff, it feels so weird, what? Okay, I'm actually freaking out, I don't, I've not even done anything, it's just the start of the game and I'm freaking out. Let's go. Oh, oh my! The first try? Okay, okay. Oh, 138, first try. It feels super weird, but it might actually be working. Dude, he's in disbelief, he's gonna AFK. I hope this streak can continues though, like that's, that's bizarre. One, two. Okay, you know what? I almost got the musty. You know what? We're going in different order. We're gonna go for a quadruple reset instead. One, two, three. Oh, we almost got the fourth. It's top corner though. Yeah, I don't mind it. One, two. Oh my god, I just fell off. What was that? It's about time. One, two. I, I keep falling off the ball like so hard. I'm starting to think that these camera settings are not the greatest for flip resets, because I'm usually a lot more consistent than this. Like, fair enough, you miss a couple, but these are very different. Like, I'm falling off the ball, I'm not keeping the same kind of speed, I'm not landing where I'm supposed to be landing, like, it just all feels super awkward. Of course, the moment I complain, I actually do better, like, come on. I'm still in absolute shock of that ceiling pinch. Like, just getting that immediately, that's insane. Makatuf. <laughs> Is that like a copy of uh, the Freestyler Makatuf? We've got one more thing to do. A double reset pogo into a musty. And there we go, <laughs> we completed it. These camera settings are weird. I feel awkward, the flip resets are not it, but I also feel kind of smooth at the same time. I hit some like pretty decent stuff, fair enough. But, but hey, but we'll reset again. One, two, three. Okay, you know what? Hello, squishy camera settings. Maybe I'm getting used to it. Immediately, we get a quad reset. Okay, okay. All right, ceiling heli again, maybe. Maybe this time. Yeah, you know what? Okay, maybe I'm warming up to this camera setting. It felt super awkward at first. My theory is, it only felt weird because these camera settings are super different compared to my usual ones. I think Squishy might be on for something. All right, you know what? Final attempt at a ceiling pinch again. If I fail, so be it. That was the worst attempt that I've ever had in my life. With that finish though, I don't know if I really like these settings. Honestly, I'm gonna say it's in between a thumbs down and a thumbs up. I'm not against it. I I'm actually not, but I think they're just a little bit too weird for me. I think the height is a little bit off. The angle is crazy for me. It it's not my kind of setting. I'm gonna have to give it just in the middle. It's decent. You could try it, but I wouldn't exactly recommend it fully. Now that we got that wrapped up, just remember, we still got plenty more camera settings to go. Just as an example, we still got Sen at the end of the video left. So if you actually want to see the best camera settings, make sure to watch till the very end of the video.
But here we are at my camera settings. I've used these for like over five years. That's insane to me. I, I find them to be perfect for me specifically. Now I've got something to prove here. I'm trying to show you everyone watching why my camera settings are the best, all right? One, two, three, oh! But now watch this ceiling shot. <laughs> Immediately! That's what I'm talking about. 129 even though it bounced. Alright, still possible. Yeah, Pogo here. And a fake? Okay, you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. One, two, three, four. There we go. That was actually a lot more clean than the one we initially got. But the double touch as well at the end, oof. I don't know if I actually touched it, but... Uh, some people might say that I'm a little bit biased here, <laughs> but I would give my own camera settings a thumbs up. Like, just have a look at it. I think they're pretty good. Now we're on to Monkey Moon's camera settings, and honestly, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I mean, the guy is like a world champion. He's super good. I mean, he even got finalist at the world last world. So obviously, he's a super good player, and I'm interested in seeing what his cameras look like. Now, obviously, right after Monkey Moon's, I will try Zen's camera settings, which is even crazier. I mean, the dominance he's been showing recently is nothing we've seen ever before. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. These are the camera settings that Monkey Moon uses. The distance is a little bit weird to me. 260 and the field of view being 109 is also surprising. Most people use like 108 to like 110. I'd actually like to see how this plays. Okay, yeah, this feels weird. I feel like I'm a little bit high up. <laughs> see, here's the thing about Monkey Moon. I feel like these camera settings will be absolutely dreadful for freestyling, but it's probably gonna be insane for something like rap. Our first try. You know, a good first impression. It's not too bad. Now we're on to a proper freestyle mechanic, all right? No more ceiling pinches. Let's do it. Okay, oh, you know, okay, wow. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually being shocked by these camera settings. What is going on? Why is it so easy right now? Okay, you know, I, I know exactly what's happening. It's making it easy for me in the beginning, but then it's gonna all come crumbling down when I go for the flip resets. Just watch, just watch. One, two, three. Okay, you know, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> One, okay, I like there. In Monkey Moose camera settings, we trust. Just watch. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Are these the actual best camera settings? Well, why is, why do I feel so confident? Why do I feel so confident in everything that I do with these camera settings? I might have just accidentally found my new camera settings. What is going on with this? Who would have thought a world champion's camera settings would be good, right? <laughs> like, who would have thought? There's, there's no way I can do like proper freestyle mechanics in this though, right? Like, there's no way. Oh my goodness, what is going on? <laughs> Why is it so easy for me? In the last couple of ones, like, we, we usually get every single shot, but it takes a little bit of time. In this, I'm doing everything so easily. I don't get it. What about a double flip reset pinch? You know what? That's, that's a bad pinch, all right? Fine, fine. We, we finally got something we can complain about. Issue with 300,000 subs. Yeah, that, that's me. We can make that number higher if you guys subscribe. You know what, why don't we just go back to our old roots real quick, do a ceiling shot musty flick. Okay, you know what, you know what, you know what. I <laughs> think these are actually really good camera settings. I feel super confident. At the start, it looked really weird, but every single touch that I make, I, I just, I think I'm gonna do it perfectly. Like, dude, look at that, like, it's so easy <laughs> with these camera settings. Everything is so easy. What on earth is happening to me? 
Now you're witnessing right now me realizing that these might be the new camera settings that I'm actually gonna use. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised. Four for the game, man. I just dominated. Oh my goodness. See, this is the reason I do these kind of videos. I would have never ever expected that these camera settings would turn out to be incredibly good. It's so random, but it turns out they're super, super good. I'm not just giving this a thumbs up, I'm giving this a massive thumbs up. I am shocked at how good these camera settings are. You have to try them out at least once. It's finally time to take a look at the Wonder Boys camera settings. The guy that won everything as soon as he went pro. We have to try them out. Even though we were shocked at how good Monkey Moon's camera settings were, we have to try out Zen's now. These are what Sen's camera settings look like at this current moment. Honestly, it looks a lot like mine. <laughs> now that I think about it, it looks a lot like mine. I think my stiffness is different. That, that's interesting. I, I, I'm curious to see how it looks. All right, everyone's expectations must be sky high because this is Sen. He is probably the most impressive pro Rocket League has ever seen. So, oh, I made you try his camera settings out. Oh, no, oh my god! What a perfect star. Okay. Okay. Good. Get the pogo. Okay, that was a horrible musty. That was the worst musty that I've ever done. Ah. Uh, two, three, four. Oh, we almost got the double touch as well. Okay, okay, he's freestyling. Flip reset? Okay, you know what? Fair enough. I respect that. Nice shot. Nice shot. Alright, one, two, three, four. Oh! What was that? What is that? Alright, just have to do it. And in style. Come on. One, two, three, four. There you go. Get me out of here. Now this won't come as a surprise to you, but obviously I like Sen's camera settings. They're good. It comes from a world champion. It comes from someone that won like five events in a row. Most dominant player Rocket League's ever seen. Of course the camera settings will be good. But here's the thing. I will give it a thumbs up. You should try it. But at the end of the day, the winner has to be Monkey Moon. His camera settings were actually insane. I don't understand it. I really don't, but it was pretty much perfect. With that said, I think that answers the question for me. What is the best camera sitting in Rocket League? It has to be Monkey Moons. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.